Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to edit a checkout page on Wix in 2024. So today, we're diving into the crucial step of editing your checkout page on Wix to optimize your user experience or the user experience and streamline the purchasing process for your customers. Of course, a well-designed checkout page can make all the difference in converting visitors into paying customers. So keep that in mind. So in this tutorial, we'll explore how to edit your checkout page in Wix in 2024. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser that you're going to use for this tutorial. Here I'm using Brave for you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open it, go to this URL section, basically just type wix.com, hit the enter button. And once you do so, you'll find yourself in your dashboard right away if you're logged in into your account. It's your first time, you'll basically find yourself here. So if you click on login at the top right corner, you'll be able to, to log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't, click on sign up instead. And you'll be able to use Google or Facebook uh, for creating an account if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating your account. And for login, you'll find an Apple added. So once you're logged in or you just created your account, as we said, you will find yourself basically in the dashboard, which is here, you'll find all the sites that you have. So here, you'll be able even to upload or export those sites, for example, anywhere else or import some if you have. So what you'll need to do is simply edit the checkout page. Of course, just go and access, first of all, your website that has the checkout page. Or if you don't have any, you can simply create a new one that has a store and checkout page. From here, I'll just go and access this one. I guess it has a checkout page. Of course, you can edit the, the checkout page using Wix Editor or using Wix Studio. So depending on whatever suits you. Of course, the Wix Editor is the old one and the Wix Studio is the new one. But if you want like more personalized for many devices, for example, if you're trying to edit the checkout page for desktop users, for mobile users, and for tablet users, like you want to hide something for uh, from mobile users because it does not look good, and you want to show something for desktop users, etc., Wix Editor will be much better for you. So, for example, here you have Studio uh, Option and or Wix Editor. So Wix Editor for more personalized for other devices and Wix Studio for me, I prefer if you are just going to use it for the desktop user because it has kind of more features or it's easier to use. So as we said, for me, I'll just go here and click on edit site and make sure it's the site that you have the checkout page into. So what I'll need to do now, simply go to this list panel, click on pages and menu and I'll look for my checkout page in here. So as an example, like I have the shop right here, so I'll just go and click on that. And once I am here, as an example, I'll just go and remove that. And of course, I'll just click on preview and see, first of all, if I have even have a checkout page. So an example, let's say I want to buy this. I'll just go and click on that. And yeah, I'll click on add to cart. And yeah, let's just click on view cart as an example. So yeah, it looks good and I'll click on checkouts and see. So of course here, I'll need to upgrade the plan if I want to have access to that. But as you can see, the checkout page for me here is also already like clean. But for you, of course, I'll just go here back to editor as an example. And basically here, that's going to be my checkout page. So what I'll be able to, as you can see, this is the cart page. So if people like add, keep adding any like item, it will show here. Here you'll find like, of course, you'll be able to start changing the background. You'll be able to remove this header, as an example, if you didn't like it on the checkout page. As you can see, even the footer here, if you didn't like, how is it? You can make it like bigger so it shows correctly. And other than that, of course, as you can see, we have an enter promo code here option or add a note option. I guess they just added uh, or added uh, the items that I added before. Of course, here basically that's gonna be my checkout page. Of course, for you, you can click on quick edits and edit everything that you want about your checkout page. As an example, uh, from the background to the layout of it. Uh, other than that, you'll be able to add some stuff on it. As an example, like some apps. I don't know if what whatever you want to add. So it's basically. Uh, depending on whatever you want to add, like there's uh, customization and optimization. It depends on everyone what uh, what everyone wants. As an example, you would like to add maybe a text, maybe a button for someone to be taken to another place or something like that. Or if you want to add like PayPal, you would like to add an app for that, as an example. So there's a lot of things that you would like to add. Uh, I don't know what exactly, you, depending on uh, whatever you want. I don't know what exactly they want to add, but... 
start adding whatever you want as you can see from here you'll be able to edit your checkout page just access it and you'll be able to start editing it however you want from the background to add an element to it adding buttons and etc and of course make sure to check out or to check your check uh, your checkout page for both desktop and mobile users don't forget mobile users because many people now use their phone just for doing anything like you'll find rare people who are using their uh, pc to do those stuff so make sure to optimize it for mobile users also because this will drive a lot of engagements and increase your seo which is search engine ranking and yeah so as example once you finish make sure to click on preview and check if everything is working so as an example once you click on preview if you're on mobile they'll show you like you are on mobile so here you'll be able to keep scrolling if you click as an example on this uh, what they will be taken to uh, if you click on this example and click on home where will they take us to home as example if i click here will they uh, let us download etc so you can see if i go back will they take me uh, back to the checkout page etc so it's all about that as you can see so if you like everything that you did if you test everything on the desktop and mobile users and you see everything is working as intended and everything is functional as intended, of course, make sure to check for any errors or issues that may arise during the checkout process and address them promptly. And consider even, for example, incorporating upsells and promotions into your checkout page to increase the order value and encourage like some repeat purchases. You can offer some related product uh, upgrades or maybe some special deals during the checkout process. It actually helps to entice, of course, customers to add more items to their cart. Make sure to keep the offers relevant and enticing or enticing to maximize your conversion rates. And after that, make sure to review and update your store policies, terms of service, and refund policies as necessary. You can ensure, of course, that these details are easily accessible and clearly displayed on your checkout page, providing transparent and comprehensive information about your policies can help build trust and confidence with customers. Once you're satisfied with your checkout page, click on publish. You'll be able to publish on your own domain if you have one or buy one from them or simply on the domain that Wix gives you without any problem. It's, but it's a bad normally uh, domain which it contains your uh, name plus I guess Wix.io uh, and then slash you will have just you'll be able just to customize the last option of this. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.